then, but then there's Yaka and he's always top 8, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that, that's a crazy thing. That's like a character that nobody really yeah. bets an eye on. And then just Yaka comes around and destroys everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we see the handshake, so we should go into the game any second now, and we're gonna see the Lucina yeah. against Bowser on PS2. So, yeah, we Everything love to see has it. Spectrum, <laughs> exactly. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you said it. Uh, they both uh, kind of want a space. They want to get these straight hits. Uh, I think. I mean, I would prefer to play Bowser because he needs less hits. Yeah, but true. I feel like Lucina definitely has an advantage. Also, yeah, especially on stage, I think yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, where definitely. Lucina shines in general, and especially against Bowser. But also, we saw Dark Thunder. Very efficient, and as you can see here, how he wants to space out his up very good at that. Uh, so far, very even percentage-wise, it feels like Sabaka has, uh, has a bit more of stage control here. Sabaka with a very interesting, oh, was interesting. Uh, yeah, interesting uh, ledge guard approach as well. I mean, he was countering off stage as well, which makes sense yeah. against the up from Bowser. Probably the best tool that Lucina has in Arsenal, but still, that sure. counter on stage, uh, a bit weird. Uh, we'll see oh, yeah, if maybe it works sure. out in the future, but... <laughs> Almost oh, the reads match. the air dots to the side. That was very good. Very quick reaction on Dark Fun side, and no way you can go here. In that uh, position, he can just run out and carry you. Also, bows are quite scary if you think for a heavy. He couldn't go uh, uh, out that far, but he's just more or less be able to, to go to the... Oh, that was nice. To go uh, completely to the side of the stage, more or less. The tech here Ooh. goes for the reversal down air. That was very ballsy to go for that. That would have been actually really hype. And he still lives 170% oh, now yeah, on. Still can't get the last hit. Thunder. Still trying there to go for go. the edge guards. There it is. In the end, the up B against the stage. And I don't think that was techable. I think that was just. I'm actually not sure what that was. I mean, it was so hard to react to. Maybe it just wasn't ready. I mean, still, he's in a very favorable position right now. 100% oh, yeah. to 30. And he is Bowser, so it's going to take uh, Sabaka quite a long time to actually kill him. True. And he's in a position where he loves to be right now. He can, can uh, try to edge guard with, with flame breath, I suppose. And uh, yeah, you can also just go for the up tilt. <laughs> yeah. And finish the stop. So now only one stop left for Sabaka. Yep. Uh, but that's such a scary position. Like being at the ledge against Bowser, you know, yes. to just press neutral B, wait for you to fair, mm. to up tilt, to down smash, to uh, F smash. There's so many options there. And you need to respect like every one of them. Okay, goes for the tech chase. Doesn't really get a reset here. But, oh, basically up a stock at this point and like, okay. kind of looking at each other. Nobody really wants to go in for a hit, but now exactly, it yeah. is. Dark Thunder uh, knows that, that Sabaka eventually just has to approach and he's yeah, like, okay, I mean, come at me. I'm waiting for you to whip something. And there you go, reads the jump and just uh, f tilts. Yeah, being at the ledge against the Bowser, really, you really don't want to do that. I mean, yep. on the ledge, off stage as well, there's always the possibility of just a, a random f tilt, a random down tilt yep. to hit you and. Yeah, just knock you out. I think it was ninety percent even. Yep. So uh, Not very, too much, uh, very beneficial for Dark Thunder. And um, yes, Ibaka needs to needs to find more footing on stage. I feel like. Oh yeah. Um, and especially off stage, he didn't like. He yeah. got one edge guard, but I was like and super he, pushed there. Yeah, <laughs> he might need to, he, he try to. And then uh, of course, yeah, and. I want. I wonder what the first stop because he tried to go for the for the counter as edge guard tool. Yep. Um, if that is maybe an indication that he that he doesn't feel as comfortable, something like that. I feel like um, usually you would go for either a down air, fair, something else. Counter, probably not the option I would uh, choose as first option. I mean, maybe it was just a mix of something else. Yeah, counter, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a very safe option, but uh, Bowser definitely has tools around that, for so, sure. Starting off, Sabaka with some straight hits, but I kind of can just trade the back. I mean, just the up out of shield so, so strong as an oh, option yes. for Bowser. And you can you just use that to rack up some damage oh, himself. And the down that smash, smash is actually going to kill. Dodge. Wow, okay. And there's Town and City coming to clutch Ooh. for you. That was 80% after yes. that down smash even. So, huge lead already for Dark Thunder. And he racks up these percent with the neutral. And now the up throw into... I thought the up air does not connect. But still. Oh, and the up smash! Dodge. Wow, okay. Dark Thunder really is in the head of Sabaka right now. Okay. Dark Thunder is just completely destroying him in the second match. I mean, he's oh, on yeah. 90%, he's in oh, kill. That, yeah. that's, that's a beautiful that's tech kill. And that is finally the first stock on, but still oh, two yes. stocks already off exactly. Sabaka. Uh, I mean, it's Town and City, so um, you can definitely die early to the side. Okay. Wow, okay. yeah, and Out of shield immediately, mode. yeah, Dark Thunder. <laughs> oh, okay, he really wants to take this all here. Yeah, maybe down here? I think that's a position where he could have went for the counter, but 
He doesn't want to do it. Maybe wants to go for the safe life trap here. Okay. Also, I mean, Thunder, he's really appreciating all these F smash from time to time. I think that True. was the third one, the second one hit, and two of them got punished, so uh, well, it does make sense that uh, one of them will really punish really, but the second one probably yeah. did a nice read there. Oh, that was a good read. I mean, Dark Thunder is a player that knows quite well, uh, or is like, quite good at uh, scouting out defensive habits, so I think it might look random, but I think he is definitely assisted behind it, obviously, yeah. otherwise they wouldn't hit so much. That was a very well spaced there and Ooh, just nice. goes out just for the next one. Stage. And I was about nice. to say that Sabaka actually fought fought back quite well in that zero on that second stock. Yes, he was down yes. one stock, but still he was able to get a little bit ground uh, to to have the, the stage control for, for quite some time, but then yep. once Dark Thunder actually got it back, he immediately immediately went for the kill and now it's 2-0 for Dark Thunder. So actually match point already, and if Sabaka wants to come back, he needs to reverse sweep this. He needs to get three yep. Wins in a row, and I think that's very difficult, especially against a character like Bowser that can just yep. kill you with a straight hit. And especially against a player like Dark Thunder <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. so good at like scouting out defensive habits or habits in general, and is so good at like staying defensive, playing neutral, not letting you in, stuffing your approaches. Or sometimes you just that. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what he, he sometimes just goes for very risky options where yeah. he, he doesn't have to. Um, that's I, true. I mean, yeah, it is a mix up in the end, so maybe, uh, maybe. Oh, I'm, I'm certain. I'm certain. Uh, <laughs> well, some random down there, but I mean, they work, so what can I say? Bowser sometimes just can go for something risky because the power might just be, yeah, I mean, 20%, but that's not going to be a big problem if he could potentially get a kill. I think Sabaka realizes that Dark Thunder really is forcing the issue here quite a bit. He's also going for like a lot of get up attacks uh, in texture situations, and slowly but surely, I think Sabaka actually uh, is a bit more confident in how he wants to play the matchup, how he wants to play against the Dark Team. But still, Dark Thunder just finds his openings. He's so good at like opening up his opponents. Again, both plays in neutral position. Just just testing testing the waters here. Nobody really wants to go for any committal. Okay, just spacing, but now he gets punished and that should yep. just be the kill. That's first stop. Gone! Yep. Dark Thunder once again uh, takes the lead in that third match. Uh, well, Spark, however, he was able to get one hundred twenty kills, So he's able to, to fight back, and uh, if he gets a quick kill, then he's definitely also able to still even out the whole stock situation without any further problems. There it is. The oh, that's so no sad. That it was so such a great setup um, with the edge guard, but he also didn't get the kill, so that's now three stops. Yep. Zero. Maybe, maybe a bit... Um, uh, a bit, a bit of. Oh no! Okay, that oh, was good. That, that was, was really good. Maybe a bit of frustration coming through here from Sabaka. And oh, and there it is. I think that's actually gonna be. Yep, yep, yep. 50% yep, yep. and the full Joss F smash. Ouch. It's just gonna take. Just like. I mean, that. what a match! I mean, Dark exactly. Thunder just absolutely destroyed Sabaka. That, yep. that was a. That was a show of power, I'd say. Oh, that yeah. was less a mess, but a show of power. Dark Thunder really 